Hello and welcome to the Nope Coach Podcast. This is episode 288, Unrealistic Expectations. I'm your host, Suzanne Kohlberg. If you're new to the show or you haven't caught an episode in a while, recently, like 11 days ago, I endured, I don't like the word suffered, um, a second degree burn on my calf, on my left calf. I, long story short, dropped a cup of tea on myself, freshly boiled, zero stars, do not recommend. And as you do when you're healing from injury, you tend to say like, you know, how long is this going to take to recover from? And they say, you know, typically seven to 21 days. So here I was hoping I'd be on the seven day part of the scale, but it's at day 11 and it's looking like more like the 21 plus days. And the other thing too, is whenever you're given a range, seven to 21 days, that's also once again, on average, bar there being no um, unexpected things, no infections, et cetera, et cetera. All of this to say, what's this got to do with today's topic? Unrealistic expectations. So often we just want whatever it is to be done yesterday or already. And I was dressing my wound this morning. My kids freak out. They come near me and they're like, hands over their eyes going, is it done yet? I'm like, just don't look at my leg. It's fine. And my son, he has started playing um, games on the Xbox with his dad, these Star Wars type games, and they have a lightsaber and everything. And when something happens to like one of the Jedis on this game, they can pick up like a health pack and be instantly healed. And he's like, oh, I wish there was a real life health pack like there is in the Jedi game. And I think this is part of the reason that we have unrealistic expectations because of things like the internet and games and even podcasts and books and shares. We, When something happens to us, we are fortunate in many ways to have a wealth of information at our fingertips, but we're also unfortunate because some of the things that we come across are the standouts or the rares or the one-offs. And then we are hoping that, you know, we will have the same result, whether it be something like healing from an injury, which is, you know, front of mind for me, or, you know, overnight success in business and having our 15 minutes of fame. That's another thing we're watching. I don't remember what we're watching. And my son's like, what does 15 minutes of fame mean? It's funny how sayings, phrases just come off the tongue and you forget that, you know, depending on your age or your culture, it may or may not mean anything to you. So unrealistic expectations. Whereabouts in your life have you had something happen? It could be, you know, a down thing like an injury, or it could be, you know, you've written a book, started a podcast, launched a product, gone on a weight journey, started a savings account, whatever. And we're expecting an instant result like health pack style or had heard about someone else who said, you know, you just do this, this, and this, and then you do this, this, and this, and you get a totally different result. And how have you set yourself up for an unrealistic expectation? Because if you look at people who were famous in some way, singers, actors, authors, often they are known for, you know, one or two prime pieces in their repertoire but then if you look up, look them up online and read their Wikipedia or th their own history or whatever, there's a long, long, long list of things they've done before that, before they had their standout moment, like, you know, their breakthrough role. What was they saying? Um, an overnight success that was 20 years in the making. Like I spoke about it oh, a number of episodes ago, but I read Patrick Stewart's um, memoir, highly recommend, uh, called Making It So. And he didn't really have a big breakout until Jean-Luc Picard in um, Star Trek. He was in his 40s, but he'd been acting since, like, since a child, teenager. He'd gone to, like, Shakespearean college and studied and all this sort of thing. So we tend to hear about people on the after side, like, you know, once they're famous, hence that's how we hear about them. But we don't often see the work that goes into that. And I really enjoyed that book. I found it a great read, but it was interesting. Some of the reviews or chatting to some other people who were like, well, I didn't want to hear, like it didn't really get interesting to have a far in. Whereas me, I was fascinated by the backstory. How do you keep staying in the game? How do you keep showing up for yourself? How do you keep going when you're not there yet? Nor do you know that you're going to get there. Like at least when you read a memoir or something like that, you know, the person has made it. 
But when you're in the game, taking the hits, falling down, dragging yourself back up again, you don't yet know that you're going to make it. And, you know, I think that's part of the, um, I heard a, I heard a phrase once called brutal, brutal and beautiful. And I was like, yeah, this brutal life where we keep showing up, keep chipping away, keep going on without the instant health pack like they have in the games, without the um, unrealistic expectations that we see online and without even the guarantee of success, as scary as that is. Anyway, my invitation for you today is to think in life where have you had unrealistic expectations? <laughs> like me, it might be a very, very, very long list. Um, I can think of things from when I was younger. I can think of times in pregnancy. I can think of parenting milestones. I can think of entrepreneur milestones. I can think of things I've done like writing a book or whatever, like, you know, because you see other people who've done this thing have this result. So then you assume, and we all know, <laughs> well, maybe we don't, but what they say about assuming, um, yeah. And I think, you know, the more that people talk about the real behind the curtain Wizard of Oz uh, Emperor's New Clothes moment, like the real naked truth of maybe we've been set up, maybe these things aren't realistic, maybe the people who are touting this are the exceptions because everybody else has just gotten on with it and aren't then talking about it online. Um, I think there's some magic in that. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you don't yet follow me on social media, I am on Instagram. I'm not that active as I used to be. Best place to find me is on YouTube. If you're listening to this, these videos go up onto YouTube daily. So if you've got any questions, if you're listening on one of the podcast apps or something that you want to add, come look up Suzanne Kohlberg YouTube. Please leave a comment on a video that you've watched. And I am aiming, it's good, it's a big ask people, um, to make a thousand YouTube subscribers. At the time of recording this, I'm 196. So, you know, at this rate, we might make it by 2040. But seriously, if you haven't yet subscribed to me on YouTube, I really, really would uh, like that. It's just to hit hit the subscribe button and um, share it with your friends. Or if you don't like listening, you know, share it with your enemies. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would so appreciate that because, yeah, that's a goal I've set for 2024 to make a thousand YouTube subscribers. And um, yeah, let's see how we go with that. I so hope to catch you on the next one. If you have a topic suggestion for an episode, this is a daily show, always up for topic suggestions. Either hit me up with an email, info at suzannekohlberg.com or comment on one of the YouTube videos and ask, you know, have you done one about this? And I may have already covered it, in which case I can point you into one of the other 280 odd episodes, or you might give me an idea for upcoming episode. As always, thanks for tuning in. Hope to hear you. See you on the next one. Bye for now.